Hi, I'm Hayden. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Brad. We're 626 Ohana, California, and we're on day five at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, so we're here back here for the third time? Yes. It's been kind of one of those weird trips this time. Yeah, it has, but we're having a good time. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow along with our Ohana. And we'll show you any tips and tricks we learned along the way. Yep. And we're off to... Oh, rock and roll coaster. Goes. We're going right. to rock out. Let's go see some Aerosmith. Let's go ride the super stretch. Are you sure you're ready for that? Always ready for that. Okay, $170. Dirty as Aerosmith would say, dirty mom. Don't break it. <laughs> What is that? I don't know, Smuggler's Run action figures. Oh. $70. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, 1999. So this is the Star Wars Kids Heaven. Oh, Baby Yoda. Oh, that's Yoda. Got Baby Yoda's. Yep. He got this Yoda. No, it's just Yoda. That's 22. Is just he sure? Yoda. Oh, that kind of look like Baby Yoda. I know. That's we got it. Baby Yoda socks. All the baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. They didn't got it in a magic band. Baby Yoda socks. $14.99. Or $11 if you buy two. Oh, $11 if you buy two. Okay. Off the green. $29.99. See what they did? Oh. Remember what happened there? Oh, I like it. The luggage tag is cute. Yeah, it's cute. online. Oh, they have their own box. Oh. <laughs> How much are the pops? Hold on. Yes. Can we just get oh, this? That's the scary deserve? part. There's no one price on it. Small ones. Those are $14.99. Is that an ornament or a pop? Uh, I think it's an ornament. It's just a toy. For $16.99, it's a ID holder. They should have done luggage tags. So one thing we were noticing as we walked through uh, the studio is that we just showed you several Christmas lights as far as during the night. Is it's kind of like a classic 50s Christmas tree here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the umbrellas do have the like, uh, Christmas tree. Alright, so we're gonna head off to lunch too. Okay. 50s prime time! Yay! Right. This is fun. Oh yeah, we love the food here. And the apple. Are you getting yelled at here? No, you are. I'm like always a good boy. Uh -huh. Alright. No elbows on the table. What are you doing? Watching the TV? Wow, that's a big TV. It's a big television. This is the park that they're opening. Look at the Christmas tree. Honey, I don't know. I don't think it's going to make it. It's not going to be successful, is it? Oh. Yeah. All of a sudden, they were going to say, like, blah, blah, blah. Shiny. Yummy. An extra piece of chicken. Um, From mom's plate. Sampler. Is this is mama's brownie. Mama's brownie. I want to see yours too. An apple crisp, salmo. Lunch was good. It's always a good time there. Nothing very much changed. No, but I liked our uh, cousin. <laughs> she was nice. This one. Yeah. Favorite show? Yes. He should just already let it go. No. We're just gonna take a rest break this afternoon. Oh, maybe after this. we should leave now. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we should leave right now. We should leave. I love what I was saying. I think I saw somebody smiling and frozen. No. Nope, nope, nope. No. He'll never admit it. Oh, it's something we just noticed today. Water slide. It's a water slide. It goes in the pool down there. That's oh, kind of cool. That's really cool. But so I'm really hoping our wait list comes through for summer because I think Hayden would that's love that. Well, there's a pool at the bottom. I think we showed the, t the, other, the pool tour at night. Yep. So I think that's where it went, goes into. How fun. Girl. 
dinner, mm -hmm. after nap, and laundry. I'm okay. Hey, That's a good thing about having DVC. Huh? It's a good thing about DVC? Having, yeah. You have laundry. You have laundry, yeah. yes. All right, let's go to the Brown Derby at Hollywood Studios and get some meat. <clears throat> This is called the Bamboo Room. Yeah. They're just telling us that sometimes they have like celebrities and stuff if they're in the parks, they'll bring them in here to get away from everybody. Which is kind of cool because I had no idea this even existed. It's really quiet too. Yeah, it's a great place. So, a little hidden secret. Okay, so we're gonna close off our day. First of all, we're gonna do a separate review of Hollywood Brown Derby. Yeah, we'll show you a little bit of it. We did do a review earlier in the year. And we'll be combining with this review. Because we were sat into, we found there's a secret room. Well, it's not really secret, but it's a really quiet room, so. Well, we would never seen it before. It's kind of hidden. Yep. And there's just some different things that we found out about it, which were kind of cool. Yeah. So we'll show you that, but the start of the day, we just went to Hollywood Studios. Right, we just went for lunch, 50's Prime Time Cafe, and we'll, we have a review that's coming out on yeah, that too. Yeah, and I watched that, that, and 50's is always just a lot of fun. It is, but you can always, it's a good meal too. Yeah, it really is, it's not, it's not the top level meals, but it's a good meal, it's fun. Yeah. So definitely, um, it's a definite try. But anyways, so we didn't do much. We did Rock and Roller Coaster, and we did the Frozen Sing Along, and then we just came back and rest because we knew we were going to have a busy evening. Yeah, and the reason we were having a busy evening was <laughs> is that we decided to do spend extra money for the extra hours of it. What was my Christmas gift? Well, yeah. Good. Her Christmas gift and Kim really wanted to do it. So we are going to have that review coming out and we're actually going to compare it to DBC's Moonlight Magic. Yeah, so definitely watch it and you'll see the differences and some similarities. And it's kind of cool at the end of the evening, Hayden got to do something special that yeah. I'd never heard of anybody doing before and he was asked to do so. A cast member kind of made a magical evening for him yeah and it's a really cool thing it's something that we haven't seen before so no. definitely check it out on our met our after hours event, event uh, review and we got back on our own private bus okay uh, that was just because we left the <laughs> resort so we like that so wasn't late. Any kind of... we were literally the last ones out of the park yeah so that was by not by design it was just kind of by default so yeah this video is going to be a little short for today it's just because we had so much other things going on we did not do a whole lot at hollywood studios no and which you know what sometimes you get into a vacation i was feeling a little worn down a little i've been kind of like on the edge sick but like a sinus infection i took meds before last month and i was just kind of feeling like maybe it's kind of coming back a little bit kind of worn down so we decided let's just take it easy yeah we still have two days left and then the crowds have been insane and they have not let up no. uh, they let up a little bit today but not enough to be really what you would think of this time of year where it's kind of the in between the holidays and and marathon, marathon. we thought there'd be a little, little there hasn't been and we've had a really. lot of people actually comment that they would thought the same thing or they've been here during previous years during this and it's been a lull it just so, hasn't been this year uh, we've been here before for this week and in all reality it's a myth that this is a quieter week or a better time to go it's still really, really busy, busy. Yeah. so don't think oh it's a week after Christmas and it's gonna be great people either don't know about marathon or they think there's gonna be a little lull before really it's not enough I if that's your thought and you could travel later I wouldn't travel till I, after, after marathon. marathon. Yeah, after marathon, we've been here and we've known after marathon it drops. Oh, it drastically. Drops off. And there was another tip, and I forgot to say it the other day when we were talking to a couple in line. Um, now I'm curious. I forgot. <laughs> so we were talking about our fast pass or doing our fast passes, and doing on the phone. They go, you know what? If you find the kiosk oh, ever so often, that they have uh, ones. That'll be available that won't be available on the app and they go it's a really odd thing But when you find those kiosks ever so often they come up a lot quicker So there's another thing to look at if you could find the kiosks there were becoming harder to find there's a f 
There's a few around. I don't around. know where the one in Epcot is, but we haven't looked. But with all the... Oh, no. I do know where it is. It's in between the... Um, it's the in mouse gear, the old mouse gear. So I don't know if it's under it's construction since there. mouse gears just uh, closed down this weekend. So yeah, if you do have a the card or your wristband, yeah. uh, definitely uh, we haven't tried it yet, but they said yeah, definitely they've gotten fast passes doing this. So this exactly. is something to look. We'll check it out in Epcot tomorrow. Yeah, but it's something I really wanted to tell you before I forgot about it. I remember it was a neat idea. I was like, I never would have thought of that. Right, so we're gonna try that. Yep. Yeah. So with that, I think we're gonna end our night. Say good night and find, find your, your magic. magic. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs> I don't know if you heard Hayden's good night from the shower.